gentrification has become a common and divisive topic of discussion in Austin. Several areas of the city are going through transformation. Emblematic of this, East Austin. Most important message that I would send out to anyone, adult, child, youth, is know who you are. The origins of East Austin have to do with the city plan of 1928. And uh, it wasn't unique to Austin, Texas. Many municipalities around the nation uh, came up with these plans to basically isolate and segregate uh, minorities, meaning blacks and Hispanics, into certain areas of the community. And in this case, East Austin uh, past uh, East Avenue was the designated location. We designed it so that you'll come over here and be in this community as opposed to being sprinkled all over the city. Now, what's happening today is a lot of uh, minorities can't afford to live in East Austin. So once again, they are being, um, they're migrating out or they're going up north or to Maine, where the property is cheaper, more affordable, uh, where the taxes are more affordable. So I think the challenge is, how do we connect wherever we are and make sure that wherever we are, we support each other from a cultural standpoint and an economic standpoint. That's the biggest challenge. There's no sense of place that says this is who we are as a culture. Uh, this is this is the kind of history that we've given to this community. Um, people don't know that there was a vibrant community on East 11th and East 12th Street uh, where there were entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, uh, developers. Uh, uh, yes, there were people who were low resource as well, but when you, people talk about mixed incomes, we had it naturally because people could live wherever they wanted to in the, in the community and it was a very nurturing community. But that sense of place is not here anymore. Then it was like, okay, give them some place to live, you know, and now it's like tear it down so we can put more developments up here. Gentrification is all over the country. It's nothing new, it's not Austin, Texas, Philadelphia, same conversation. The question is, how do we adjust? How do you be able to marry employment, uh, cultural activities, but most of all, understand what has happened here. Uh, this has happened over a period of almost 75 years. This is nothing new. You have to realize what your history is, the importance of your history, and you have to fight for it. In some instances, it's a natural process. No matter what city you go into across this country, there is gentrification. We have a city that has become siloed, which means that we have special interest groups that pay attention to their particular issues. But when you look at the city holistically, uh, we're missing the young people's voices. So I think now we have to make sure we understand what young people want. Jobs, opportunities, they want culture, entertainment, like most people. We haven't done that here. And that means you have to invest money. Unfortunately, folks have been lucky here to invest money where it matters. You've got to invest in young African Americans. There's no other substitute. If you see that there aren't programs that you would be interested in as black youth, tell those who are organizing programs. I think art plays a, a role in terms of connection. Trying to reach out to the youth to say, we really need to hear your voice. Uh, you're the voice of the future, and we need you to get involved with what's going on in the community. East Austin remains under an everyday transformation. People are moving. How will you preserve the history and culture of East Austin?